This man climbing a high voltage electricity tower in Shastri Park, Delhi is Hasibul Hasan, a former Aam Aadmi Party councillor in East Delhi Municipal Corporation. He reportedly vowed to kill himself by climbing the tower as he was denied a ticket for the 2022 Delhi Municipal Body elections. He alleged that the Aam Aadmi Party had demanded huge money which he couldn't afford to pay as a result of which he was denied the ticket. Apparently the party gave the ticket to one Deepu Chaudhary for rupees 3 crores. He also alleged that Durgesh Pathak, Atishi and Sanjay Singh had seized his documents and had returned it to him only after the media glare. In another incident in Gujarat, Aam Aadmi Party's Ahmedabad City Vice President alleged that Kalpesh Patel, also known as Bola Bhai, who was earlier with the Congress, managed to get the MLA ticket with his money power. Even recently, conman Sukesh Chandra Shekhar in a series of letters came out with blistering accusations that AAP had extorted a sum of rupees 50 crores for key party positions in South India and a Rajya Sabha seat. He has also accused AAP chief Arvind Kejriwal of forcing him to bring 20 to 30 people to contribute rupees 500 crores towards the party in exchange for seats. While men are allegedly being demanded money for tickets and posts, the Gujarat Congress has alleged that an Aam Aadmi Party leader was blackmailing and sexually exploiting women on the pretext of providing them election tickets. There are several such reports of the Aam Aadmi Party demanding huge amounts of money. to give tickets to plausible candidates during the 2022 Punjab assembly polls a Jalandhar resident who took voluntary retirement from employees provident fund organization claimed that he paid 20 lakhs to contest from Jalandhar central constituency he said that he had paid around 13 lakhs to a woman who introduced herself as a close relative of Arvind Kejriwal In another case Vinod Kumar a former journalist and AAP candidate from the border constituency of Bhoa alleged that he was told to deposit rupees 1 crore as party fund or sit back home he claimed that he had raised this matter with Kejriwal himself who apparently asked him to do as told it is high tech poll that costs money Kejriwal allegedly told Vinod Kumar he was also warned that there were others who were willing to pay up to rupees 2 crores In the run up to the 2020 Delhi elections, grandson of former Indian Prime Minister Adar Shastri, who was then the AAP MLA from Dwarka, alleged that Arvind Kejriwal demanded rupees 10 crores for recontesting in that election. Adar Shastri, who later joined the Congress, alleged that the Aam Aadmi Party sold the Delhi 2020 Assembly election tickets for rupees 10 to 20 crores. During the 2016 Punjab Assembly polls, sacked Aam Aadmi Party leader Sucha Singh Chhotepur accused the party's Delhi leadership of selling tickets to undeserving candidates for crores of rupees. Interestingly, he himself was sacked on allegations of taking money from an AAP supporter. During the 2019 Lok Sabha elections, the son of an AAP West Delhi candidate made a sensational claim that his father paid rupees 6 crores to Arvind Kejriwal for the ticket. Two senior leaders were caught red-handed demanding money for seats, following which they were expelled in the face of undeniable evidence. The Aam Aadmi Party when entering the political fray touted itself as a party for the non-corrupt with Kejriwal positioning himself as an honest man. Over the years, the Aam Aadmi Party seems to have become a part of the very rot it had promised to clean.